Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, as some people may know, that high blood sugar levels leading to higher insulin levels can lead to prediabetes and eventually diabetes. Unfortunately, the situation seems to be getting worse each year. And as of 2017, it's estimated that over 60% of all U.S. adults have diabetes or prediabetes. However, what's even worse is that high blood sugar levels can also cause or exacerbate additional health problems such as higher cholesterol and high blood pressure, uh, poor blood flow, weight gain, inflammation, arthritis, poor cognition and memory and Alzheimer's disease, hair loss and wrinkles, and much more. Basically, high blood sugar levels accelerates the aging process. So with that said, I'm going to quickly discuss the 10 clinically proven ways that you can quickly, easily, and naturally improve your blood sugar levels and help avoid and even reverse many health problems. Also, at the end of this video, I'll give you my personal favorite formula for lowering your blood sugar levels, something that my family and I have been using for over a decade. However, before I continue, if you aren't already, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now while it's fresh in your mind because I've got some very important videos coming out soon about this and similar topics and I don't want you to miss out. Okay, so let's get started with the first one and that's exercising daily. Regular daily exercise can help you lose unwanted fat, but more importantly, it helps improve insulin sensitivity. You see, increased insulin, insulin sensitivity means that your cells are better able to use the available sugar in your bloodstream and thus less insulin is needed. Hence, the foods you eat get used for more energy and muscle growth rather than fat storage. And any form of exercise is great. Daily is ideal. You only need about 20 or 30 minutes. Fast walking is fantastic. I also suggest anything that helps you build more muscle, such as lifting weights with cables, machines, dumbbells, or even your own body weight. Two, we want to eat the correct carbohydrates. Listen, when you eat carbs, your body converts it into sugar, mostly glucose. As your blood sugar goes up, your body secretes insulin to help lower it back down to a normal, healthy range. Now, carbs are not evil. However, the wrong carbs, especially in high amounts, are bad for your health. So your goal is to help eliminate or at least minimize the man-made carbohydrates, such as the breads, the pastas, the snacks, the sugars, drinks, and pretty much anything that tastes good. These have high glycemic index or glycemic loads, which shoot up your blood sugar levels. You don't want that. Focus more on vegetables, maybe some yams or a little bit of white rice, legumes, quinoa, and whole grains. Get rid of the bad carbs and eat less total carbs. Now, the next thing you want to do is eat more fiber. Now, fiber has so many health benefits, and unfortunately, most people are barely getting any. You should be eating at least 25 grams or more of fiber, while most Americans are barely getting around 5 or 10 grams. Now, the cool part is that fiber slows carb digestion and sugar absorption, leading to a gradual rise in blood sugar levels when you eat without those high spikes. And it's best to get both soluble and insoluble uh, fiber in your diet because they both help improve your blood sugar levels. Foods high in fiber are also the ones I recommended as your ideal source of carbs, which are vegetables, fruits, legumes, and whole grains. And if you can't get enough fiber from your foods, then make sure you add in some fiber supplements into your diet. They really help as well. Next, you wanna eat smaller meals, but more often. And I'm sure you've heard about this when it comes to weight loss. However, one of the reasons for the weight loss is the lower blood sugar levels from eating smaller meals. Now, most people, they end up eating maybe two meals a day, and these are high calorie meals, which end up spiking your blood sugar levels. Just have five or six small meals or snacks throughout the day. You'll have better blood sugar, more energy, and you'll feel fuller. Next, you wanna watch what you drink. Honestly, you should never drink your calories. That means no sodas, no juices, alcohol, or shakes, or smoothies, or anything similar. They all digest quickly, which end up spiking up your blood sugar levels. The best drink is water, or maybe even some green tea. First, most people are dehydrated, so they have to or should be drinking more water. Also, water flushes your kidneys, cleanses your livers, and thus eliminates excess blood sugar through your urine. All of this helps reduce diabetes and even reduces uh, blood sugar levels. Next, you wanna manage your stress levels. Now, you can't have health without also discussing stress management. What's interesting is that stress increases blood sugar levels and also decreases insulin sensitivity. 
two things we don't want. And this is because of the change or the negative changes in your hormones such as glucagon, cortisol, testosterone, adrenal hormones, and so forth. Now, we can't eliminate stress, obviously, but you can manage it by not overreacting to negative situations. Knowing that this too shall pass and spending a little bit more time every day to relax, such as exercise or meditations, taking a walk, reading a book, maybe even taking a nap and so forth. Even 15 minutes a day can make big improvements. Next, you want to improve the quality of sleep. Listen, you can't manage your stress if you don't get enough quality sleep. Again, this has to do with the negative changes in your hormones when you don't sleep well. Now, I've never been a good sleeper, unfortunately, but here are some simple tips that have helped me. First of all, you want to go to bed around 9 or 10 p.m. and for sure before midnight. Also, an hour before bed, start to relax and get ready for bed, meaning turning off electronics, dimming the lights, reading a book, you know, maybe journaling and, and so forth. Next, you want to make your room pitch dark when you're ready to go to sleep. Also, going to sleep, focus on positive thoughts rather than negative ones. Trust me, it does make a big difference. Next, you want to drink some apple cider vinegar. Now, apple cider vinegar, like exercise, helps lower your blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. And you don't need much. Just one teaspoon into a glass of water, you know, two or three times daily. Number nine, you want to lose fat. Losing unwanted fat and decreasing your belly fat in the circumference has numerous health benefits. And this is even more true with blood sugar levels because the lower your body fat, the higher your insulin sensitivity. Now, what's interesting is that you can actually eat more carbohydrates as you decrease your body fat. And the good news is that all of the solutions that I mentioned today are going to help lower your blood sugar levels and reduce body fat levels as well. And finally, taking natural supplements. Listen, so far everything I've mentioned today is very important for your overall health, but it does require time and effort. Listen, exercising daily, eating the right foods and the right amounts and the right time of day and stress management don't happen overnight. You know, it's small changes you need to make every day, creating daily habits that will allow you to reach your goals. Unfortunately, most people just give up after a week or two since they're not getting the results fast enough especially for the amount of time and effort they're putting in. And this is why I always suggest people to take natural supplements. It helps speed up your results. It's easy and convenient. Minerals such as magnesium, zinc, selenium, selenium, and chromium are very important, and most people are in fact deficient in them. That's why you should take them. Also, clinically proven ingredients and herbs such as cinnamon extract, alpha-lipoic acid, uh, bitter melon extract, fenugreek seeds, and vanadol sulfate will help give you almost instant results in improving your blood sugar levels and improving your insulin sensitivity. Now, I've made another video about this topic and how you can improve your blood sugar levels in minutes and help avoid diabetes in another video. Just click the link uh, in the description area below for all the simple details and proven solutions. Remember, improving your blood sugar helps you avoid diabetes and most health ailments and reduces the aging process. It's definitely one of the most important things you should focus on your health and your fitness and longevity. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel. If you found it helpful, please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your questions and comments below. I do read them. And most importantly, do yourself a big favor and make sure you click the link in the description area below and watch a short video. Uh, and you'll discover how I actually lowered my uncle's blood sugar by 46% in only 30 days. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.